Let's talk about the fear. Every day, 3 p.m. on the dot, and side note, this is why I quit caffeine recently, and we'll get back to that in a bit. Every day at 3 p.m., I sit on my sofa, which is just to the side of me here, because that's, I don't know why, I'm like a clockwork sort of person. I end up in the same location at the same time every day. I look around the studio at all this stuff in here, and I get the fear. This has been going on since COVID. Um, I get the fear. I sit there and go, what the hell have I done with my life? I have a degree and a master's. I'm in a warehouse in Odeby. I've got so much kit in here. If I have to leave because I close my business down, where the hell am I going to put it? Getting rid of it is going to be a nightmare. My overheads are huge. Like my business overheads are huge. Thousands a month come out of my bank account for my business. Just obscene amounts of money. The electric bills are skyrocketing. The work is going lower and lower. There's less and less work each year since COVID. It's really like taken a dive since then. What the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing with my life? I'm a YouTuber some months. Like some months, there's no work. Like that's quite normal in photography. You'll have a month where you just don't get a shoot. And that month, my entire paycheck comes from YouTube. That month, I am a professional YouTuber. I hate YouTubers. I absolutely hate them. I am one. In March, I was a YouTuber. I didn't do a single photo shoot in March for money. Um, I was a YouTuber. That sucks. And with this fear comes the anxiety and the worry. What if I never shoot again? What if that's it? What if this is it? What if I'm just going to be a YouTuber from now? What if photography is done for me? What if my agent phones me up and fires me? I get a phone call from Lisa. She's like, hey, Scott didn't work last month gotta go you're on your own like what what do you do then what what is it you do what do you do with this fear and I'm sure you feel it too I'd love to know in the comments below what yours is if anything just to help me feel a bit more normal about mine but this fear is crippling this fear stops you from being creative sometimes I lose an hour of my day just sitting there going what the hell have I done with my life I have ruined it I have had all these opportunities. I had a big salary job. I lived abroad in great apartments in Shanghai, in Hong Kong, stayed in Paris. I had all these great, and now I'm in Odeby in a warehouse taking pictures of sweets. I've got some gummy bears out to photograph. Like, what the hell have I done? And this fear snowballs and snowballs and snowballs. I look at these other photographers and I'm like, oh, I wish I was you. You've got it all sorted out. You, you, you've got it. You... You're just living the dream. Me? I'm in my warehouse with my cat. Like, what the hell have I done wrong in life? How did I end up here? I'm making YouTube videos today because there's no work on. There's no work today. I'm never going to work again. Like, th this fear is real. I probably shouldn't be talking about it right now because it's, it's definitely coming back. I'm getting an early bout today. It's, it's 10 a.m. Getting the fear early. Good to get out of the way for the day. Maybe I won't get the 3 p.m. fear. The problem here is, though, that then you lose your creativity. You can't focus on anything in the big picture. You can't focus on what it is you're trying to achieve in your work. You can't focus on being a photographer because you're scared. And this happens to everybody in this line of work. And I know this because I've spoke to the people who I'm like, God, you're doing good. I've met them going, well, you're doing so well at the moment. And, you know, <laughs> what's the secret? They're like, just resharing all behind the scenes stuff, mate. There's no work. And I'm like, oh, they're like, yeah, I'm terrified. What if I have to get a real job? I'm like, I thought you were sorted and, and I needed to get a real job. No, 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 I thought you were sorted. We all get it. It's the freelance fear. Part of being a freelancer is that you're free to work for other people. Part of being a freelancer is that when someone phones up, you can be like, yeah, I am free and I charge a premium for it. Now, as a photographer, when I was doing the budding, jobbing local photography stuff, I shot every day. I never had a chance to get the fear because I was too busy. But as the jobs get bigger and bigger... Pre-production might take two weeks, post-production takes a week, the shoot takes a week, that's a month for one job. Sometimes two of those end up in one month and nothing the month before. Sometimes you get a two-month dead spot where there's nothing. Yesterday, I got five emails to my photography account. None of them were anything but spam and, and one was somebody telling me that I might need to look at the length of something and there's some pills I can take for that. But none of that helps. None of it helps. And, and I want to try and offer solutions to you, but also I'm saying this out loud so I can try and listen to my own advice because I don't. I know the answers to this. I don't do them. And one is that I quit ca caffeine. I stopped drinking caffeine because I thought that was giving me the fear. It turns out it wasn't. I still got the fear. So I'm back on caffeine, hence the slightly deranged eye look. Um, but exercising at three o'clock. Every day I get the fear at three o'clock. My gym session is now at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I do my exercise. 
And that kind of gets rid of it. It comes on and then the weight training starts, it goes away. The next thing to remember is, how many people wish they were you right now? And this is true for everybody. No matter how bad you think things are, somebody wishes they had your position in the world. And from that, work backwards to where you started. When I started in photography, I was jobless. I was on benefits. I was also on health benefits because I had PTSD at the time. I never thought I'd actually make money again. I thought I was going to be on benefits for life. Then I made money and I was like, brilliant, this is amazing. I make some money taking pictures. There was a time in my life when I thought, you know what, I, I get benefits, I'll take pictures. This is a good life. This is, you know, it could be worse. And now I'm here and I've got all this stuff and, you know, it. but the fear remains. The fear I had back then of never working is the same as the fear I have right now of never working again. And of course, it's ludicrous. It's illogical. It's irrational. But we all get it. And, and I want to put this out there as well so you know you're not alone in this. We all get it. We all get the fear. Every time I do my tax return each year, I celebrate. I celebrate another year of not having a job. I celebrate another year of somehow making it through with just my hobby. Because this is what it is. This is my hobby. This is what I do for fun. If I had a day off, I'd go and take pictures. When I retire, I'll probably be in the studio taking pictures. This isn't work. This, this isn't some hardship. This is, this is great. I come in here. I have my workspace. I create the art I want to create. And thankfully, some people seem to like it and they buy it. They buy me. They hire me to be a commercial photographer. So if you're sitting there going, might have made a bad career choice here. Or, you know, this person looks busier than I am. This person seems to be doing so well. Just remember where you came from, what you were aiming for originally. Because I think most of us achieve more than we actually thought we would. When we, and don't think back to what you thought six months ago. Think back to when you got your first camera, what you thought you might achieve from this. What is it you thought you might get out of photography? I bet it isn't what you're currently doing today. And I, and I bet even if you're making money from it today, I bet the profession isn't what you thought it was when you started out. Because I didn't know this was the profession. I, didn't, I thought I'd go out and take pictures and somehow make money. I didn't realise you had to actually do this as a job. This is like the way it works. And all of this is fixed by this great saying, which I've, I've really been honing in on. You'll see it in a lot of YouTube videos at the moment. Emulate the process, don't emulate the results. When you see these other photographers looking successful, when you see your past successes, don't worry about the results. And I know it's so easy to say this sitting here in a studio, knowing that I'm set for the next few years of income. That's an easy place to be in. And that's why I'm saying it now, because when I'm not in this place, it's not as easy to give this great advice out. The process is what gets you the results. Don't look at someone's work and go, I'm going to get that result. Don't look at their marketing and go, I'm going to get that result. Think of your process that got you here. The test shoots, the marketing Mondays, the networking, the social media usage, the website, the blogging, all of this, all of this process, sitting up late at night with your notebook, pen and paper, writing down every idea your brain can possibly come up with to try and think of that next great project you're going to work on, which will get you noticed for that next great commercial client. The process is what matters, which is why I live such a regimented lifestyle as a photographer. Every day I do the same things. If there's no shoot on, I come in at the same time every day. I do my admin at the same time. I do my ideas at the same time. My gym session at three o'clock when the fear kicks in. I make sure I do my backup at this time whilst I'm doing my weight training. We do this, we do that. We go home at 5.30, we put the kids to bed. Then in the evening, my laptop comes out. I do my YouTube work. You know, it's all of these little things. It's the process. If you stick to the process, the results will come. And of course, in that moment of despair, when you've had a bad month, maybe you've got no work this month, and you just break both your cameras and you've got a massive tax bill coming, whatever it may be, just remember the process. The process is what will see you through. I hope this has been of use to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.